Hey guys, I'm Michael. And I'm Madison. And welcome to a new series called Two L Dudes Presents... Trending TikTok Songs. Trending TikTok Songs, which is awesome. Or uh, trending songs on TikTok. These are not TikTok songs. Most of them. Oh, okay. That makes better sense. <laughs> uh, anyway, because um, as we have found out that, and especially for me, being fairly new to TikTok because she introduced me to it, uh, that not only are there already known artists, but there's a lot of brand new artists who come on the scene and produce their own stuff and they release it on TikTok. So this is a great way, and ex especially for me, because I get to learn about these new artists I have never heard before. So uh, let's see what our next one is. Perry. The next song trending on TikTok is Miley Cyrus, uh, Flowers. Okay, I've heard this one. I've heard this one on TikTok a lot, and I've seen a bunch of like little theory videos, so I have a lot to share. Theory, theory videos? Yeah, wow, okay. I haven't really seen this full music video. I've seen like really tiny five second clips and a lot of people talking about it. Okay. So, some of my information might be wrong, but. <laughs> That's okay. You can correct us if we're wrong. Now, we, we've done one or two Miley songs. I like her, and she's done some mm -hmm. really cool stuff, and, and the last I heard, she was trying to, she was covering a lot of like metal songs. Yeah, it, it really and works. Killing it, right? I was watching Hannah Montana last night. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. They're, I was. <laughs> <laughs> the early days. All right. Miley. You wouldn't let me watch Hannah Montana. I didn't? No. What was my reason? Same reason for I couldn't watch Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Sweet Life on Deck. You were like, uh, the kids had too much attitude, so you'll have too much they attitude. They were a little, yeah, they were a little precocious. <laughs> precocious. Well, precocious, yeah. Acting older than they actually are. Adult humor for kids. I'm a dad. All right? Looks like a uh, LA maybe. We were good. We were cold. Kind of dream that can't be so. We were right till we weren't. Built a home and watched it burn. I so, love the tone of her voice. I'm already going to stop. Okay, cool. The outfit she's wearing. Now, we are all aware that her husband, her now ex-husband, uh, Liam Hemsworth, cheated on her. Okay, now, isn't he the, one of the Avengers? That's Chris Hemsworth. Oh. Liam Hemsworth was that dude in the Hunger Games. Gale. Oh, okay, okay. The one from Kansas District. Are they brothers? District. Are they yes, just... they're related. Oh, they are. Okay, yeah. okay. Um... And so Liam was married to her. All right. But cheated on her. Ooh. Multiple times. Ooh. And the dress she's wearing was also worn by Jennifer Lawrence on a red carpet in a picture with Jennifer Lawrence and Liam Hemsworth. Oh. Just saying. Oh. I, I love the whole gold thing, but that makes sense. I didn't want to lie. Started to cry. But That's a cool outfit. That's a cool outfit. I can buy myself fly. It's got a good groove. See things you don't understand. Go Miley. Can take myself and I can hold my own head. Yeah, I can love me better than you can. Can love me better. I can love me better, baby. Can love me better. I can love me better. Ain't my nails. Cherry Ray. That whole little chorus, I guess, was awesome because talking about burning the house down and then you adding your information about them being divorced, right? They are divorced now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love the fact that she's just saying, I don't need you. I can be happier by myself doing my things. Yeah. I just think that's she a very... She can buy herself flowers. She can hold her own hand. Yeah. Talk to herself. Yeah. I, I love that because to, to, to have that much confidence in yourself and realize I don't need someone else, that when I'm with somebody else, that adds to partnership, right? That's great. But I can still do this without you. So I yeah. just think that's a powerful mindset. Match the roses that you lay. No remorse. I love those shades. No regret. I forgive every word you say. Oh, 
doing the ropes. Those things are hard. Serious leg and cardio right there. It's almost got a disco feel to it. See, from I, I love shots like this because, from an art direction standpoint, throughout this whole thing, she's been very curvy and uh, flowing in her all her movements, and she comes out and she's all black, and then we've got these two statues that got this flowing, curving feel to it, and they're standing by themselves and separated, which I just really adds to the whole story. Perry, I need your input on this. Uh, the guy, uh, famous actor, and I can't remember his name, he was on Saturday Night Live, and he, d he was the one who talked about the cow cowbell. What's his name? Um, uh, um, uh, I know exactly who And he was in Pulp about. Fiction as well. Yeah. Um, his name's just completely coming out of my mind. I can't. Uh, when it comes to me, I'll say it, but there's a video. Samuel L. Jackson? Hmm? No. No, not Samuel L. <laughs> Jackson. Um, oh, man. He's got those eyes. He's, he's just an amazing actor, but there is a music video of just him dancing throughout the whole thing, and he ad-libbed the entire, and this feels like it's almost an homage to that because it's just so freeing. I, I, there's probably was not even rehearsed. Yeah, you wanna know something else? That's the house Liam Hemsworth rented, bought to have affairs in while they were married. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> She is just dropping all of it. Mm -hmm. All of it. Oh, that's amazing. Christopher Walken. Oh, cr thank you, sir. Christopher Walken. He's over there on the iPhone knocking this out. Christopher Walken, and I'm not sure what that video is. Uh, when you find it, I'll link to it uh, down below in the description. But you have to watch this video with Christopher Walken just dancing. It's absolutely amazing. The whole video is just that. I just love the energy. She's just like, she feels like completely free to be happy. Wow. That was awesome. I, I love that song. I love the whole message mm -hmm. on that. Oh my God. And just those tidbits you threw in just make it so much better. Mm -hmm. Everything from the outfit to her just being free and, and being in the house is just like, wow. Wow, I, and I can't even imagine the tax bracket to be able to buy a house like that just for having a side thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, um, I love that song. That is, that's just a song that you just kind of dance and groove to, and when you put everything in context, and if you happen to be in that situation, it just makes you feel it's really, a really good. Getting ready for a night out song. Oh, fantastic, that's really great. Um, now, do you know any tidbits about, like, is there any part of that video that is used primarily in yeah, TikTok um, videos? the most recent one I saw was um, this lady being like, when your husband hasn't asked you to be his Valentine, but Valentine's Day is less than three weeks away. Oh. And then she, like, throws rose petals and, like, grabs a bouquet of flowers and she sings along to the chorus. Oh, okay. Um... I haven't done that yet. Is that something I'm supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, Dad, you need, to, you need to ask her to be your Valentine. <laughs> we honestly don't really celebrate Valentine's Day that much. Okay, ask her to be your Valentine. Get her a card and a rose. You're good. Good. It's just effort. Guys, it's the effort. <laughs> it's not what you buy. It's the effort. Yeah, that you're actually thinking about that person. Mm -hmm. I think the trick is that you need to do that every day. 
then there shouldn't be a special occasion, right? My One of my professors celebrates uh, Groundhog Day with his wife instead of Valentine's Day. Now, that's fun. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah, they're going to go on a date. They're going to go outside and see where their shadow is. <laughs> well, it's like, I think you just get, like, drunk. I'm pretty sure the... I don't remember if it's Irish or Scottish or German. I don't exactly remember. Groundhog Day? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. But any excuse to drink. Isn't Groundhog Day when they have like Pocahontas, Pocahontas Phil, and he comes out and sees his shadow? That's not Groundhog Day? Who in the hell? <laughs> <laughs> there is a, a Bill Murray uh, movie called Groundhog Day, and it's this famous groundhog, and it's got a name, Poca something Phil. And, and on that day, it's a big celebration. They bring it out, and if he doesn't see a shadow, it's like six more weeks of winter, and if he does, and it's like spring comes sooner. You didn't know that? No. Oh, okay. I have not seen that movie. Okay. But it's a thing. It's not just a movie thing. It's, oh. it's literally a thing, but this whole movie was built around that. So... Anyway, great movie. You got to see Greyhound Day with, with Bill Murray. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that was a great video. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here. Again, this is a series of uh, trending songs on TikTok, and we're glad you're here. Uh, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and drop your comments down below. Go to our Patreon and check that out. And we're always appreciative of, of all of that. So until next time, thank you guys. See you.